Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. I sometimes need to connect a bare hard disk to my PC. In the past, I had to shut down Windows, open the computer case and connect the drive to a spare SATA cable. After the work, I had to reverse the whole thing. This is why I ordered a hard drive bay from Orico. I had already some other stuff from them and was happy with it. After 17 days it arrived in the mail. Quality of the product is good and it looks nice. But how does it perform? To check this I used two types of drives. An old 500 GB Western Digital hard disk and a newer 256 GB SSD from OCC. And I connected them directly to the SATA 3 cable in the computer or through the new Orico hard disk bay. And I compared the Orico bay with a cheap SATA to USB cable. I got this cable together with the purchase of the SSD and I used it to transfer the data from the old hard disk to the new SSD. Unfortunately, it cannot drive a hard disk. So I made this test just with the SSD. To make the test complete, I connected the Orico Bay to a USB 2 cable. For the benchmarking I used the well-known Crystal Disk Mark IV with its standard settings. Here are the results. Let's start with the hard drive. The Orico Bay was as fast as the direct connection to the SATA in the computer. Only minor differences exist. These differences occur also if you do the test several times under the same conditions. The same tests with the much faster SSD shows only one noticeable difference. The 4K Q32Ti tests. This is a random read and write test with multi queues and threads. I have no idea why this is. This is a typical test for database environments. Since I will use the Orico Bay mainly to transfer files between disks, this test is not important to me and I did not investigate further. As a summary, the tests show that it makes no difference if you connect the drive directly to the computer or through the Orico Bay. This is exactly what I wanted. Beauty, as Dave Jones would say. Just to make the test complete, I compared the Orico Bay to the cheap cable provided with the SSD. Here you see big differences. The cheap cable is factors slower. So the investment is worth the money for me. As a last quickie, I connected the Orico Bay to a USB 2 cable. As you see, this is not a good idea. The performance is very similar to the performance of the cheap cable. Which is somehow clear. The cheap cable only supports USB 2 mode, even if you connect it to USB 3. I hope these tests were useful to you. Bye!